right, good morning once again, and you are welcome to your favorite program on TV. This is Cool TV, Channel 196 on Star Times. My name is Dapo Band. You're welcome to Crossfire. This morning, we yet will be talking about the most anticipated and the most, I mean, uh, historic election in the history of Nigeria, and that's the presidential election 2015. The dramatic change of, of power from the supposedly uh, from the supposedly ruling party to the governing party. That was exactly the statement of General Buhari when he yes. was, you know, during the acceptance speech. And he said something, you know, very dramatic. And uh, Ishama, you want to say good morning to Nigerians? I mean, let's, good uh, morning, Nigerians, and you're welcome to the show. You know, as a matter of fact, I, I get so really very excited. I don't know who wrote, you know, um, General Buhari's speech. But he said... Well, he's a very good writer. What are you saying? I've Do you read know, a lot of One of the elements of the show, Ishama, was that now you will not be hearing anything like the ruling party the is going to be party. the governing party. And That's, that is very... Um, I mean, it makes me really get very emotional. Because and, uh, all, yeah, and it's good because at this point in time, it's also... It's sending a, you know, a very strong message to Nigerians that mm. Nigerians shouldn't see things as they used to be before. Wow. This is a new era, and... You know what they say, if we have changed, if we're here to change the mentality, the way people, Nigerians, see things, then that means the change has to start from them at the top. Mm. Because it's a natural process, like you know, al Haj Alai Mohammed said on this show, it's a natural process. It flows from the top downward. So if we're seeing these minor adjustments and changes springing forth, in less than how many days after you know, the, the pronouncement of his victory, the Nigerians should be expecting greater things to come. You know. In, in coming days. Now, uh, another very key element of the speech was that he said, you are all my people and I will treat you all as mine. I will work for those who voted for me, voted against me, and those who didn't vote at all. That's true, because that, he's the president is, of Nigeria, yeah. not the president of the APC, not the president of the North, not the president of the Yerberis. He's the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which encapsulates every individual. And of course, no secret cow, no individual is above the law. So that means we all must be treated as one. We all are equals. So nothing like, oh, you're Mr. This, or of course, you have to so and so on us sit here, and you're nobody, sit there. No, everybody has to see themselves as one. The same law that you know, judges you know, the, the rich is the same law that will also judge the poor. I mean, I mean very, very interesting. Look at the fourth, I mean, the third point, and this is very interesting. He said, President Jonathan has nothing to fear of me. We might not agree on the same methodology of governance. Mm -hmm. He is a great Nigerian leader who made it possible for democracy to thrive. I will extend my hands of fellowship to Jonathan and his team. But the truth is, I completely agree with what um, General Buhari has said. I mean, he's his, I, I've been seeing a whole lot of things online. So I mean, it appears to me like this speech has been prepared for a very long time, read over, brooded over, of corrected, course. changed, you know, mm -hmm. just to be suitable as, as, the, as what should come out from the president-elect. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's But the so, truth is, so how many Nigerians envisage the fact that President Jonathan will put a phone we'll call across to concede? A lot of Nigerians, if you asked me before now, would have looked at the pre-election activities and said, no, no, that won't happen. But so look how shocking. Up. Look at the change. Look at the turnaround. He was able to extend that hand of, of friendship. So and now when we see all these things coming, you know, coming out to play, I mean, Nigerians should really sit down and, and make up their minds on the fact that now, really change has come. <laughs> now look at this one. He said, our long night is over and a new dawn has come. Mm -hmm. Democracy and rule of law will be put in place. I have no doubt about that. And I believe a lot of Nigerians do not have their doubts I about mean, that. I mean, you know what I intend to do with the seven elements of the acceptance speech of um, General um, Muhammad Buhari is to put it in my head mm -hmm. and, and use it in anticipation of, 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 of the change that I am expecting. But uh, I mean, well, and, and in I my own opinion, in my own opinion, I think Nigerians also, you know, across the globe, should also learn from these two, you know, these key individuals. That I'm talking about General Mohammed yeah, Buhari them are and a very key President role. Jonathan. Because, I mean, this now has shown us that life itself is not a do-or-die affair. Mm. Politics, 
nothing should be a do or die affair. There is no need for you to fight. There is no need for you to make incisive statements. There is no need for you to do anything demeaning to get what you want. Of course, that, this shows that peace will always be the answer if we can be more mature in our activities. Wow, very interesting. Look at the fifth uh, element. It said, let us put the recent past behind us and forget about old battles. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you look at the build-up, you know, before the Forget election. Forget the death threats, wow. the wish, death wishes, yes, death and wishes, all of that. You know, Move inflammatory ahead. statements, you know, derogatory statements, mm -hmm. and um, allegations, extremely, extremely malicious statements that were made against the general. And it's coming out with a speech like this. I don't want to be, believe that this speech is, is, is written just to, to, to calm Nigerians down, but I see it as, as words that mm -hmm. have been, been thought through. Remember and, he said and he's way a he changed was even, Democrat yeah. now? Yeah. Remember he said so? So these are some of the, the, what he said about himself being a changed Democrat. Come on, all of this is happening right now. He's showing Nigeria that really he's a converted Democrat and he's here to serve Nigeria and make sure that our economy and our nation gets back on track as she should be. So All right. That's I mean, perfect for that me. Really, that, that's really very cool. Along the way, there will be success and setbacks. Mistakes will be made, but we will not take you for granted. We should be Heavy key. Words. Governance Heavy should be for the people. Heavy words. Not about those. Because for me, I see leaders and how we should be across you know, the world. Leaders are servants. They should be the ones serving the people. The people should be king. The people should be the ones we're who We're like should... customers to the government. Exactly. You know, we're so expecting we, we expect that a that's level what of we'll service, see. you know, to be delivered Accountability to, us. to the people. Exactly. That's, I mean, that, well, we hope this is new done. I mean, <laughs> that would be let's the look case at the seventh now. one. You shall be able to go to bed knowing you are safe. Insurgents will soon know the strength of the collective will of Nigerians. Mm -hmm. And I mean, in my own opinion here, yeah. when uh, he said insurgents, in my mind, I tried elaborating on that. Insurgents, innocent militant groups, of terrorists, course. Robbers, robbers, kidnappers, cultists, ETC. Every, ev anything so, that <laughs> will compromise your the security. peace and mm -hmm. you know, the safety, safety of, of the life and property of, of the Nigerian people mm -hmm. will be fought you know, to the nail. So Nigeria should get ready. For I mean, for me <laughs> and for you, this is the most interesting period in the history of Nigeria. The, the presidential elections came and it was really very nice. I mean, analysis and reviews and updates have it that it is one of the best elections that Africa as a continent has experienced. Mm -hmm. I mean, Ghana used the card reader. It was not really particularly as popular as the elections in Nigeria. Nigeria is a very great country in mm -hmm. Africa anyway. So the expectation of the outcome of the elections was something that a lot of Nigerians are looking forward to. Some people believe that this election was going to be very violent. Some people believe that it was going to be very... Um, I mean, it was going to be very competitive anyway mm. because of the opposition party. But it was very strong enough, you know, exactly very. strong enough to, you know, to really uh, make us experience what we eventually saw, mm. uh, you know, as the outcome of the polls. But awesomely, awesomely, um, Ishama, <laughs> is the participation of the Nigerian people about, you know, about this election. But as a matter of fact, we'll take um, a very quick look at the Accept acceptance speech. speech, just as we have analyzed, and look at the content just like the general presented it, you know, to us um, a few days ago. All right, uh, let's, let's look at it. All right, um, we will bring that uh, particular video back to you. Um, there, there was something really very wrong with the, with the audio, but as soon as it's fixed, we will come back to you. But Ishoma, uh, what do you think was the motivating factor for Nigerians to actually come en masse? I asked someone before we came into the studio, and the person told me it is change. But you know one thing, change has its elements. Mm -hmm. I mean, change does not just happen. It, it is a process <clears throat> of metamorphosis. I yeah. mean, it starts from somewhere, it graduates to another, it graduates to another. Just 
you know, for the general to be elected as the next president of Nigeria, who will be sworn in come uh, May the 29th, does this, you know, victory actually translate to the change that Nigerians are looking for? Uh, well, let me answer the first question <laughs> you asked. You know. that my opinion, there were a lot of reasons, there were a lot of factors that made the people of Nigeria come out in mass. You know, before now, the people of Nigeria, people used to look at the fact that, oh, my vote never used to count. Elections were mad with so much rigging and all of that. But when Nigerians saw that the analysis, the balanced analysis of the card reader, mm. it was able, and this is the honest truth, it was able to build a level of confidence in the heart of the people. Now, that was the first reason. And the second reason also, people came out in mass also because they looked at the two major contenders. They looked at, you know, they analyzed the, the current administration, well, the current administration, and saw some of the loopholes. They saw how, they saw some of the excuses that were made for some issues which were so serious, which should have ordinarily been treated seriously. We're talking about corruption, we're talking about security, we're talking about the electricity, tariffs, so many things, impunity at, the, you know, at, at all at levels. The highest level. So these were some of the things they were looking at. And then another thing that also worked mostly for the APC, I'm talking about General Mohammed Buhari, was his personality. Mind you, his person, who he was before now, and even also look at the drama, because I came out to say something when we talked about the OPC activities, the yeah, protests. Already I said something that the if Nigeria, if some of these political agents and political parties understand that the people of Nigeria right now are so frustrated with what is on ground right now, and all they're after is ideologies, not slander. Nobody wants to wake up in the morning and see the front page of the newspaper or the TV scroll bar on TV saying, Maybe what, 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 what we should be death. looking for. Exactly. Uh, uh, as soon as so, the president elect you thank know, is sworn in, so into power, is the that the headlines that made of the Nigerian Nigeria. newspapers will change. Of and then course. we begin to see. Uh, President mm -hmm. Muhammadu Buhari uh, inaugurate uh, something. President, exactly, you know, commissions, uh, commissions this, this refineries you know. working. So these were the things that made the Nigerians second Niger bridge. See, exactly, these the were the things the that made Nigerians say, "We are better than this. We do not want politicians who will look at us and reduce us to nothing. We want that change. Let us try." All that right. was it. All right. I mean, and I can, we, I can we are see, hoping, I can we see are the hoping energy the building in the We are Every, hoping the APC will not Inishoma. disappoint us. All right. <laughs> Thank you so very much. I mean, I, you could see the energy anytime you talk about the APC. I mean, it just gets straight like an intravenous injection <laughs> into Ishoma's uh, bloodstreams. But notwithstanding, I am excited about mm -hmm. what Nigeria is experiencing. And for every well-meaning Nigeria, believe you me, we are in for a good time, and we're trusting that the change that we're, we've been anticipating has finally and finally and finally come. All right, we'll be going on a short break now, and then when we come back, we'll be taking you through a lot of other reviews about the last election, the presidential election in Nigeria. Now that the general has won, what next? That is what we'll be looking at very closely. What are the expectations of Nigeria, Nigerians about you know, the election that has taken place and the expectation immediately after the president-elect is being sworn in? You will stay there and we'll be right back.